the Atari I.O. button is back because it's the 26th of the month. And every 26th of the month, Atari I.O. celebrates Atari Day. And we're going to celebrate by playing Pango for your Atari 2600. According to the label, it looks like the game's all about some pink gummy penguin that's being chased by some green gummy creature with a carrot for a nose and a hammer. Sounds like fun. Let's go ahead and take Pango, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Pango was published by Atari and carries a copyright year of 1984. It's based on the 1982 Sega arcade game. Pango is a single screen arcade style game for one or two players alternating. At the beginning of the game you can select which round you want to start on from 1 to 10. The game gives you 5 lives and also lets you continue on the previous round to the last round you've played after you lost your last life. So if your game ends on level 12, you can start again on level 11. You play as Pango the Penguin, and you skate around the ice rink using the joystick. On the rink there are also enemy snow bees, ice blocks, and jewel blocks. You can kick ice blocks, jewel blocks, or the wall by pressing the button. If you kick an ice block that can't move anywhere, you will destroy it and get 30 points. If it has an open area to move in, it will slide until it hits another block or the wall. It can also crush snow bees. If you crush one, you get 400 points. Crushing two with one block will get you 1600 points and crushing three snow bees with a single block will get you 3200 points. The jewel blocks act like indestructible ice blocks, but if you make all three of them touch in a straight line, you will either get 5000 points if the line is touching a sidewall or 10,000 points if the line isn't touching a sidewall and all the snow bees will temporarily freeze. You can also temporarily freeze a snow bee if you kick the sidewall while it is touching the wall too. If you touch a snow bee while it's frozen, you will defeat it and get 100 points. When a snow bee disappears, if there is another snow bee in reserve, represented by a yellow square on the bottom right of the screen, an egg will appear on screen that will quickly hatch into another snow bee. If you manage to crush it before it hatches, you get 500 points. Defeat all the snow bees and you move on to the next more difficult screen. Beat a level in under a minute or less and you will get anywhere from 10 bonus points to 5,000 bonus points depending on how quickly you finished. The game will also send you to the next round if you take too long, although there is no visible timer. Graphically speaking, while the levels aren't anything special, I thought Pango and the Snow Bees looked pretty good. Pango and the Snow Bees, huh? That kind of sounds like the name of a 50s band. Sound and music wise, the sounds are fine and the short musical theme is well done, but since it constantly repeats, it might get annoying to some. You can actually turn off the background music by putting the left difficulty switch in the A position. Family friendly wise, the game is pretty tame, unless you think too much about the poor squished snow bees. At the time I researched on eBay, loose copies were selling for $12 to $23. One complete copy sold for $89 and another complete copy sold for a whopping $177 including shipping. So what did I think of Pango? Well the basic gameplay of the game didn't blow me away, but it works well and I could see myself playing it again. It's not going to be one of my go-to games, but it's more like one of those games where every once in a while I wouldn't mind popping it in. So where am I going to rank Pango? I'm thinking somewhere in the high 60s. It's actually really close to Qbert, a game I recently reviewed and is currently ranked at the 60 position. And I think I like the classic action of Qbert just a smidgen more. So out of the 106 games I've now reviewed on the 2600, Pango is skating into the 61 position. Pango offers a little bit of frozen fun on the 2600. At this time I'd like to say thank you to all the members of the forums at Atari.io who helped me choose today's game. So what do you think of Pango? Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons. If you'd like to support the show, you could do so at Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash gamer for more information. And you can follow me on both the Facebook or the Twitter. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and have a nice and warm Atari day.